By all these lovely tokens, September days are here, with summer's best of weather and autumn's best of cheer. The day after the full moon, I went on my last vacation of the season with intentions of letting go of the chaos that is summer. Yeah. Maybe we should just get better at packing. I know. <laughs> you know? The hustle and bustle, the tired garden, and mostly letting go of the water. I am a waterhead. I could float all day, day after day. When I'm in the water, I am in my element. And here comes up, here comes an airplane. Okay, we got buses, we have airplanes. I am a water hag. I could float all day, day after day. When I'm in the water, I'm in my element. We had no choice but to be in the water. We went up north thinking we would have cooler temperatures than down here in the city. It's the first time you can walk in here without burning your feet, I'll tell you that. As it turned out, we were smack dab in the middle of the hottest temperatures in the state of Minnesota. I think we topped out at 103 degrees. It was uncomfortable, even when immersed in the pool. That lasted about three days over the Labor Day weekend. Yes, and then yes, all yes. the vacationers left. Okay. And, and even though we can't down, see what's happening and we had here, it's just about to ourselves and took full advantage of that. <laughs> It's so beautiful up north in the Brainerd, Nisswa area. I could easily live up there. Our autumn vacation condo is nestled in the woods along the causeway between two lakes on a massive chain of lakes. It is private and quiet and so relaxing. We get around by golf cart on trails along the lake and through the wooded property. And it's so fun. Here we go. We don't want to get stuck in the sand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure people go whipping around those things in oh these. God, yeah. I'm sure the kids just go right. Here I'm all old lady driving. Woo! We're all like that. <laughs> Oh, lady driving, woo! <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, just let's just take it from here. It's, it's so pretty. It's lovely. Yeah. We got out oh, and walked golly, out Pat. paths that were new to us. Going down might be a little harder. Oh, I got that. Mm-hmm. It is pretty. <laughs> oh, wow. Careful, Sue. It is like little steps here. It'd be easier to walk up, too. It's a fort. It's a fort. It's a fort. It is a fort. That's a pretty cool fort. You that send is your kids a out cool for the week. fort. Is she still going? <laughs> the three of us girls went on an adventure and took a drive through a beautiful wooded area where we found the sweetest little trout stream. Slow down, speed limit five miles per hour. That's about what I'm doing. I'm doing seven. I have to be a little bit of a rattle. <laughs> seven miles an hour. Oh, it's cold. Of course I have to put my feet in it. I mean, it's water. Oh, it feels so good. There was something so magical here. I was amazed at how cold it felt glory, cleansing, washing some of the troubles away and sending them right down the street. And letting go of them. So today is our last day here at our timeshare. Um, Causeway is so beautiful. I love it. 
there's so many lakes up here. They're all connected to each other and it's like we're just nestled in the woods here. It is bittersweet leaving. It's like leaving summer behind. But what's waiting at home is autumn and all the activities that go with it. Bonfires in the backyard, making soups, canning, getting the garden pulled up, and decorating, both inside and out. I'm just waiting for my girlfriend, Sue. She's gonna pick me up and we are going to Minneapolis. We're going to the Twin Cities Pagan Pride and we are gonna have a blast. We got home just in time for the Pagan Pride Festival at Minnehaha Falls in Minneapolis. I love going because I often run into friends that I should see more often than I do. We all have such busy lives, <laughs> there you go. but we always seem to make it to this event. It was fun seeing Dana, otherwise known as the Shadow Moon Witch here on YouTube. I don't know how she found us. There were so many people going about. Then we ran into Kelton, who was signing books at the Llewellyn booth. He is such a kind human. It was so great seeing him. This, this might be the scariest elevator I've ever been in. Yeah, it's kind of scary. When Sue and I left the festival, we went to the Mississippi Lock and Game. Oh, they did! Yeah. I missed it! Well, he'll come in and then they'll lower him down and then they'll open this one from the Oh, out. for heaven's sake! I have to admit, I was very nervous being on those platforms over the river and the dam. Huh. <laughs> you can go in the middle. No. <laughs> That's okay. Right here is fine. I mean, I was really nervous. Gosh, the people will be right, like, right there. There are. No way. There's a lot of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Maybe nine. They better hurry. Hurry, come on. <laughs> no. no, I'm good where I am, thank you. Yeah. Maybe they are. No, I would not. There's no way in hell he would ever make me to do that. We went at the perfect time though, and I was able to watch a riverboat and a bunch of kayakers that needed to get from the high part of the river to the low part so they could continue their excursion. Well, it's so lucky that I'm here. Yes, I know. Oh my gosh. The, the one time I come. Yep, I know. So neat. That's a big ass boat. Look at how wide it is. Mm -hmm. The love boats. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the road. Soon we'll be making another run. <laughs> the love boat. <laughs> is there water underneath me? Right here? Oh, look at you. <laughs> okay, here I come. Yep, talk along the middle. We'll do that. Oh, yucky, yuck. <laughs> so then here you're a solid, see? Solid. Uh... <laughs> Well, that was scary as fuck. I was thankful <laughs> to have a few days off after that because I needed a vacation from my vacation. And then things got back to normal, back to the daily grind, back to going to work um, at that money-making machine. And on my first day back, they did not disappoint. This is what welcomed me into the building that morning. I was taught this as a Catholic, 
both fear and love God, both fear and love the Lord. And like, isn't that the most unhealthy relationship ever is one where you have to both fear and love somebody at the same time, even when you call him God, especially when you call him God. I don't know, it reminds me of an abusive marriage. Thankfully, I have a few days off in between stretches of working to let all that go. I actually got some canning done. I'm doing a tutorial for Savage Social on hot water bath canning, and I've been canning tomatoes in every spare moment. This is my second year creating content for Sabbath Social, and I encourage you to check them out and maybe consider becoming a member. And if not, they have a lot of free material. There's a lot of meet and greets. There's just a lot of fun. I'll leave the link down there to all their information. Anyway, so far I've processed 12 quarts and six pints of tomato products and um, I came home from work and found another box of tomatoes on my dining room table so um, obviously I'm not done canning yet I wanted to get more put up in my pantry before autumn gets ahead of me oh, there we go that's our excitement waiting for the cans to pop I've been decorating inside and outside for the season, and my husband and I have started putting my garden to bed. That will take some time. I have to really rethink my gardening process for next year and in the years to come. Um, between the drought and the climate changing, I need to make some changes in what and in how I plant. I don't need to think about that yet though. I just want to enjoy autumn, the feel, the smell. It all just fills me up with goodness and gratitude. I celebrated the pagan day of thanks on my bond and celebrated the autumnal equinox with an outdoor altar and a fire. We had stuffed and roasted chicken with gravy and cranberries and green bean hot dish, of course. Now we are at the end of the month and into a new season. The month of October is just a few days away. Time flies and the older I get, the faster it seems to go. And I just want it to slow down a little. I want to feel it all. Soak in the fall energy like I did the summer's water and sunshine. The season of the witch. I don't know. I think it's always the season of the witch. But it's definitely this witch's favorite season. We know that in September, we will wander through the warm winds of summer's wreckage. We will welcome summer's ghost. Strive to be happy. A little nonsense is what I need. Now if you want to get the best of me.
Come on. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> There's a vulture waiting for us. <laughs>